One of the new features that's available in QuickBooks 2012 is the ability to turn on FIFO as your average as your costing method for inventory. So normally uh, in previous years and the default setup for inventory in QuickBooks is to use average cost to value your inventory. Now we're going to be able to set up FIFO, which is first in, first out. We have another video that kind of explains the difference between those two and shows the difference between those two. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to set it up here in, um, in QuickBooks. Now, the ability to turn on FIFO is Enterprise Edition only, and uh, you do have to purchase the Advanced Inventory Module. It's an annual subscription-based module. Okay, so before I start anything uh, as far as changing, you know, how our file is run, the f you always want to do a backup first. So you're going to go up to File and create a backup, save it to your desktop, save it, you know, on a jump drive, something like that. But always do a backup first. When you switch to the FIFO, it does not require you to do a backup. So stop the video, go do a backup real quick. <laughs> Okay, the second thing that I would always do is I would come in and to my inventory valuation detail report and run or print a copy of this out. I'm gonna print it to PDF so that we can take a look at it after we finish this. Uh, change over to FIFO. Okay, so we're gonna call this FIFO. And then also what I would do is come in and run your profit and loss report change this going back as many years as you have data in the file. So you can just click on this little uh, date field and push Y, 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 going back as many years as you have in the file, and then change the columns here to total by year. And then you can drag and drop this over. And I would print this out. Okay, so if you have zeros in it, that means there was no activity, so you can take those years off. But I would print this out to make sure or export it to Excel to make sure that you can do a review and be sure that no prior year history changed, okay? Because you want this to still tie out to your tax returns. You don't want any previous year history to change, okay? I would do the exact same thing with the balance sheet. On here, you have to go up to Customize Report, click on the date field, Y, 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 and change the columns to total by month. I mean by year, and okay. And I would export this to Excel or print it out. Again, we don't want to see any changes in previous years. The last part before you decide to change your inventory valuation method is you do need to talk to the IRS and you do need to talk to your CPA or accountant. Make sure that this is the right change for you. I would not suggest changing it going back into previous years. You've already filed those tax returns. You don't wanna to have to go in and file an amended return. So you only want to change it as of the most current year. All those warnings first. Now I'll show you how to turn it on. Okay, so we're going to go up here to Edit and Preferences and Items and Inventory. And it is a company preference, so you will have to be in single user mode. Okay, so this could take a long time to change if you have a lot of inventory and a a lot of inventory transactions throughout the year. So you might want to do this, you know, after hours or on a weekend because it could take a while to make the change. So you're going to click on the advanced inventory settings. This box does not pop up and it pops up that you need to purchase the advanced inventory module. That means that you haven't purchased it yet. Uh, so call an ISP, call into it and uh, go ahead and get that purchased. Or it means that you have your connection hasn't happened yet. So if if you've purchased it and you don't see this box show up, let me show you real quick. You're going to go up here and manage uh, data sync. I'm sorry, manage my license, and you're going to sync your license data online. And that way, it lets your company file connect up to the Intuit database to show that you do have that advanced inventory module already purchased. Okay. Hop on back in here. So we're going to click on Advanced Inventory Settings, and we're going to start using FIFO. And again, I would decide, you should decide, usually you start this at the beginning of the current year, and you need approval. Uh, make sure that you're doing this the right way. Also, you might want to do it locally first to see how it changes your file. So save a backup, 
and restore the backup local on your, your computer and then um, do the change, change the FIFO starting on the beginning of the year, 1-1-2016, and see what happens to your file at that point to make sure that is something that you still want to do. Okay, so we're going to start using FIFO on 1-1-2016. This is a demo file, of course. I'm going to say OK and OK again. It's going to tell me it has to close all my windows. Notice again, it did not make me do a backup, so make sure and do your backup first. While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and open up our PDF here so that we can see the uh, value of the items. All right, so now we've made the change. Uh, we have our inventory set to be on FIFO valuation. So let's go ahead and take a look at our inventory valuation detail report again. Okay. So this item here, we didn't have any sales, so it didn't change. Notice that it doesn't have on here, you know, your FIFO cost. It still keeps track of your average cost behind the scenes. However, when you actually do a transaction or you make a sale, it is going to do um, calculate it based on the FIFO calculation. So with this one, if I purchased it at $10 and I sold, I mean, I purchased it at $20, again, when I go in and make an in an invoice now. Okay, oops. I'm going to sell one of them and save it. So when I look at my journal, okay, it's going to do the cost at my first in cost of $10. So if I go look at my inventory valuation detail here, notice the first one in cost me $10, and that's what it values it at when it takes it out or we sell it. Okay, the other thing to note that because we did have a change uh, in our inventory valuation, our asset value has changed. So if I look at this report here, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit, I have the asset value for my cabinet pulls at $9,102.60, but because of the change to switching to FIFO, it is now valued at $9,091.14. Now, it's not like that amount just disappears it would be that difference there would be in your cost of goods sold because of some invoices that you had during the year. Okay, so that is how to turn on FIFO.